I have double clicked the Virtual Pool 4 online icon on my desktop to start Virtual Pool 4 and now I'm going to log in I enter the email and my password this is the same as what you use to log into the website and press login and here we are now this is the lobby this is where you can meet people in rooms this area here on the lower left is the chat feed you can see that uh, when we log in we get a, a link for a fac links for running events uh, points leader and uh, then after that it's just saying we're in lobby one there could be multiple lobbies now we can put in chat by typing and you see in the message bar at the bottom my chats come out and then if I press enter that chat will be sent out and everybody in the lobby can see it. To the right of the chat area is the player list. It shows all the players online. At the top we can see players that are in the lobby. Then the next section has players that are in room. And then finally at the bottom it shows players that are away. Admins are in red. Friends are in green. Everybody else is white except for you and you're a light orange color. I see me down there as boots. We had an alert come out. The system will put out alerts. This one is about a event starting that needs players. You can see some other chat there. Uh, Redbacks responded to uh, my chat. Now if you go over to the player list and click on a player, you can see information about that player. So I'm going to go ahead and click somebody here and uh, get some more detailed information on them. So we can click different players, see who they are, see their country flag, see their location, might say lobby, might show the room. Up at the top we've got the room list. These are match rooms where people can play any game they want against anybody they want. These are challenge rooms. They're set up for one game, winner stays on. And these are tournament rooms for currently running uh, tournaments. So I just got a PM. I'm going to ignore that for now. I'm going to enter a tournament room now by selecting a match and double clicking on it. That puts me into this tournament room. You have to wait for any shot to stop before the room shows up. It also has to load the room. So here we are and we're watching this match between Tin and Simon. I'm going to leave this room. I'm going to come down here and you can enter any room by going over and clicking on the location. I don't think I want to go in that room. Let me pick somebody else. Let's try this one. Now I have a choice of player as a spectator because this is not a tournament room. I can go in and play if I want. I'm just going to say be a spectator. And here's a couple fellows playing uh, black ball. If I want to create a room and play, I go to the Create Room button and press that, and I get the Create Room menu. I can create a match room or a challenge room. I'm going to do a match room, set the location, I'm going to set the game. Really, a lot of parameters can be set. I'm going to set a couple of them, set the table, set up the club, put myself in the game, press OK. And now I'm playing 8-Ball World Rules by myself, playing against myself, because 8-Ball requires two players. So somebody else could come in this room. If they come in as a player, then I could restart the game and put them in. In these match play rooms, basically uh, the way they work is whoever ends up winning the match gets to set up the next next match and I'm just going to leave the room. When I logged into the game I also logged into the VP Online website 
I can press this website button to show the website and I can press the X button to go back to the lobby. The game includes a browser within it so all the website functionality is available. You can use the control Z key as a shortcut key to get back and forth between the website and the lobby and this also works during gameplay. This concludes the login and lobby video. There are additional videos describing gameplay in detail and the website in detail.